Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we are doing the next section of this cabinetry here. The part that goes over there. It won't be this washing machine here, but we are putting a washer and a dryer there. And let's have a look at the plan. So these units are gonna be built differently from the last ones that I did. And that's mainly because I built them wrong. The top one, especially. The bottom one's gonna be built different because it needs to hold a lot of weight. So if you look from here, so imagine this is the unit here, definitely not to scale. So we're gonna have those upper cabinets up here, just like the other ones. But then down here, we're gonna have the washer dryer. So the washer dryer is gonna be below those two upper cabinets and sitting on top of the lower cabinet. This is gonna be the structure that holds the washer dryer because this is gonna be one long drawer that pulls out and creates kind of like a, a shelf at the bottom of the washer dryer that you can put a basket on when you're loading the washer or the dryer. And then below that, because we've got all the space with no middle partition, we'll have another big drawer here. So let's start off with the bottom unit. And for that, I've got some wall framing. Some uh, heavy duty construction, I couldn't help myself. All this cabinet making, you know. Um, I've used H1.2 because of the weight of the washer and dryer. Both of them are going on this one platform. And because of the drawer that's going under here, I've, I've got no middle partitions. All right, it's time. It's time to implement some of the things that you taught me. <laughs> so now above that cabinet that I've pretty much built, I'm gonna put another cabinet like those wall cabinets. Right there. And it gives me a chance to build it correctly. Some say this is the best time of day, it's my good time. Hello, Hello. how's it going? Good. How do, do you mind if I film? All right, that's great. Thank you. Um... <laughs> I've got a delicious pastrami sandwich, and as you can see here, barbers are still closed because we're still in level three. That's a big part of why I'm uh, working by myself. It would be nice to have a couple of guys there, but, but you know, I'm working at someone's house, so any arrangements that I can make to make, you know, put them at ease, then I'll do it. At least we can buy food now. At least we can work. 
Now if you look over here, you can see the error that I made with the top unit and how I fixed it with the bottom unit. Also, I must say thank you to the people in the comments who pointed these things out. That's how I'm learning. Um, doing the cabinetry on the videos and then um, getting heaps of helpful tips from people in the comments, so thank you. One of the main comments was this gable end should have gone the full dimension of the cupboard. See how I've got ply sticking out, sticking out and sticking out. They said I should have made this go all the way to the bottom and then I would end up with screws from the side making it harder to pull this down rather than screws from the bottom and I've incorporated it on this one. See that there, that goes all the way to the top, screw on the side, but more importantly on the bottom we've got the screws on the side and the bottom unit I've incorporated the same technique. Now the way I came up with that design was skateboarding. Uh, we used to build skate ramps and you know if you think of a standard skate ramp with a slight curve on it you'd get a sheet of ply and you'd cut that side on you know design that would form the slope and you'd cut two of them and you'd put them one side and the other and then you would put timber in between to make the part that you skate on strong. So I've kind of incorporated that here. The sides form the shape and it screws into these pieces of wood that take the weight. I've been jumping up and down on it, it seems pretty strong. I'm pretty confident. This is one of the tips that I got in the first cabinetry video was um, to stop the laminate chipping up, put a bit of tape down. Oh yeah, look at that. And then you get a nice clean result like that. Beautiful. I've actually been having pretty good luck with the track saw so far anyway, so I haven't needed to do that, but keep that in mind if I start hitting snags. The track saw's working well. I'm gonna do what I did at the bottom of the, uh, the bottom unit, where ply meets the ground especially on concrete, you want to seal the plywood. Otherwise, it can soak moisture up like a wick. All right, minor adjustment at the back there. Seal the bottom. We're laughing. Oh, perfection. Can't beat perfection. There we go. You got your 34 mil offset there. The same as here. 34 mil. And that's how it finishes. Bench there. That's already plastered and painted. So I've had a lot of comments about how to put the upper cabinets up and I've taken all of it on board so I thought I'd try and explain what I'm doing here. I'm kind of trying to do what's best for this situation. So obviously I've done the gable ends on the cabinets to make it a bit stronger but on the back here I'm having a space between the cabinet and the wall and that is purely because there's a dryer and washer going underneath and in the future if a dryer goes under there and it needs ducting then it's got this channel here you, know, you can cut a hole in the ceiling and take it out through the roof. This dryer doesn't need that, but just in case. So because of that, I can't screw the back into the wall. So I've put these spaces there and they're screwed into the wall. And then I'll screw into these side panels and it should be pretty strong. Wish me luck.
solid. Let's put the uh, let's put the bottom in, shall we? Washer, dryer, storage, more storage eventually. I try to be all fancy and get the plasterer slash painter to just do the parts that we were going to see. And I forgot that this is lower than this. So all of this part here is unplastered. Which means I can screw into it to hold that down while the silicon sets. Every cloud, right? And here's another mistake I made. I screwed the panel from this side and I, uh, again, forgot that these heights are different. So, <laughs> now you can see the screw, but hey, both things will be covered by the washer and the dryer. Oh, it's starting to look like something now, isn't it? Solid. Well, thanks for watching this exciting episode. And if you want to see me carry on attempting to be a cabinet maker, stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you subscribe for that stuff. And if you want super sweet merchandise like this, check out the link in the description below. Smoker time, my van t-shirt, all that stuff. Candy hanger door. All in the link below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.